Hare Krishna, let's get started. Uh, thank you for joining our evening Bhagavad Gita class. And today we are discussing uh, Bhagavad Gita chapter 15, verse number 10. Just repeat after me. Let's recite the verse. Utkramantam stitam vapi. Kramantam stitam vapi. Bunjat bunja nam vagunan vitam. Bunja nam vagunan vitam. Bimuda nanu pashyanti. Bimuda nanu pashyanti. Pashyanti gyana chakshusa. Utkramantam stitam vapi. Utkramantam stitam vapi. Bunjan bunjanam vagunan vitam. Bunjanam vagunan vitam. Bimudana nu pashanti. Bimudana nu pashanti. Pashyanti jnana chakshu saha. Pashyanti jnana chakshu saha. Ukramantam stitam vapi. Ukramantam stitam vapi. Bunjanam vagunan vitam. Bunjanam vagunan vitam. Vimudana nu pashyanti. Vimudana nu pashyanti. Pashyanti jnana chakshu saha. Pashyanti jnana chakshu saha. Anyone would like to repeat it? Ukramantam stitam vapi. Ukramantam stitam vapi. Bunjam nam vagunan vitam. Bunjam nam vagunan vitam. Vimudanan upasyanti. Vimudanan upasyanti. Pasyanti nyanan chakshushaha. Pasyanti nyanan chakshushaha. Me, me, not, they're not. Uttarvantam sitam vapi. Utkramantam stitam vapi. Utkramantam stitam vapi. Bunjanam vagunan vitam. Bunjanam vagunan vitam. Vimudhana nu pashanti. Vimudhana nu pashanti. Pashanti jnana chakshushaha. Pashanti jnana chakshushaha. Anyone else would like to recite? Sure, Prabhuji. Utkramantam sthitam vapi. Utkramantam sthitam vapi. Bunjajanam va kunan vitam. Bunjanam va kunan vitam. Vimudha nanu pasyanti. Vimudha nanu pasyanti. Pashyanti jnana chakshusha. Pashyanti jnana chakshusha. Right. Um, let's read synonyms. Utkramantam. Utkramantam. Pitting the body. Pitting the body. Itam. It Situated in the body. Situated in the body. Va api. Either. Either. Bunjanam. 
Enjoying. 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 Wa. Wa. Or. Or. Guna anvitam. Guna anvitam. Under the spell of the modes of material nature. Under the spell of the modes of material nature. Vimudaha. Foolish yeah. person. Foolish persons. Na. Na. Never. Never. Anupashyanti. Anupashyanti. Can see. Can see. Pashyanti. Pashyanti. Can see. Can see. Jnana Chakshu Saha. Jnana Chakshu Saha. Those who have the eyes of the of knowledge. Those who have the eyes of knowledge. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. The foolish cannot understand how a living entity can quit his body, nor can they understand what sort of body he enjoys under the spell of the modes of nature. But one whose eyes are trained in knowledge can see all this. Purport. The word Jnana Chaksuha is very significant. Without knowledge, one cannot understand how a living entity leaves his present body, nor what form of body he is going to take in the next life, nor even why he is living in a particular type of body. This requires a great amount of knowledge understood from Bhagavad Gita and similar literature heard from a bona fide spiritual master. One who is trained to perceive all these things of, for, is fortunate. Every living entity is quitting his body under certain circumstances. He is living under certain circumstances and he is enjoying under certain circumstances under the spell of material nature. As a result, he is suffering different kinds of happiness and distress under the illusion of sense enjoyment. <clears throat> Person who are everlasting fooled by the lust and desire lose all power to understand their change of body and their stay and, and their stay in a particular body. They cannot comprehend it. Those who have developed spiritual knowledge, however, can see that the spirit is different from the body and is changing its body and enjoying in different ways. A person in such knowledge can understand how the conditioned living entity is suffering in, the, this, in this material existence. Therefore, those who are highly developed in Krishna consciousness try their best to give this knowledge to the other people in general for their conditional life. For their conditional life is very much troublesome. They should come out of it and be Krishna conscious and li liberate themselves to transfer to the spiritual world. Hare Krishna. Let me recite the prayers. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshur Unmilitam Yena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupag Swayam Yem Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Sri Guru Sri Uta Padakamalam Sri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Visa Raghunata Vitam Tamsa Jeevam Sadvaitam Sadhuvutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Sakam Tamsa Jeevam He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesho Gopika Kantu Radha Kantu Namaste Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Brinda Vanispari Vrishavanu Sthe Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Bancha Kalpa Taru Viksha Kripa Shindu Vahevacha Patita Nam Pavanipya Vaisna Vibhyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadhadar Shiva Shadi Gaurabhakta Vinda 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा एवरीवन हरे कृष्णा सो द ट्रांसलेशन अगेन द फूलिस कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ ए लिविंग एंटिटी कैन क्विट हिज बॉडी नॉर कैन दे अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ बॉडी ही एंजॉयज अंडर द स्पेल ऑफ द मोर्स ऑफ नेचर बट वन हुज आईज आर ट्रेंड इन नॉलेज कैन सी ऑल दिस all right so we are in 215 chapter the chapter says that the yoga of supreme personality of god had right or the purushottam yoga so uh, this chapter starts uh, where krishna ends on chapter 14 where he says that uh, devotional service can uh, transcendent all three modes of the nature okay so then the uh, krishna continues uh, his uh, an explanation in the chapter 15 okay so we understood that devotional service is the is the uh, is the process where we can transcendence all three modes of nature then question arise okay how can one perform the devotional service right so that's what this chapter 15 is explains all about so krishna uh, starts says that okay uh to start a devotional service the first thing is that we should cut the attachment to this material world that's what krishna explains he explains how this material world is a upside down side banyan tree right it is the reflection of the spiritual world the spiritual world is the real real world and the material world is the, is the reflection of spiritual world so whatever we see in this material world is all are temporarily it's a illusion it's not the permanent thing and whatever we do for our sense enjoyment even that also temporary right the body which we have this also temporary this body is made of the five the elements right krishna says in the bhagavad gita 7th chapter third verse you know भूमिरपो नलो वायु खम्म बुद्धिर्च अहंकार प्रकृति सो इट्स मीन दट कृष्ण सेज दट ऑल दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड विच मेड ऑफ फायर एयर इथर वॉटर एंड एंड ऑलसो इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ मनो बुद्धि इट्स लाइक मनो माइंड intelligent and uh, ahankara it's like a um, false ego right so this all uh, consists of this material world whatever we see across this world right um, or even our body is made of material uh, elements right it's eventually it's go away this nothing permanent like uh, every material uh, element has a life right after certain day it will deteriorate and it will be gone you know think about anything let's say we we think about a furniture or anything right after some time the wood get uh, deteriorate and it will be gone it will be lost or it will be broken or anything like that right so and again in the immediately the next verse krishna says the 7.4 like apart from that there is another energy of mind right which is a a uh, marginal energy of mind it's like a living entity uh, who are the superior than all this material energy but uh, because of this superior nature this jivatma uh, or this uh, uh, spirit living entity is uh, is misusing this material world the word it says the ayadyam dharite jagat that means this uh, uh, this uh, living entity is trying to misuse this material nature okay and sometimes the living entity thinks that he is the uh, lord over our entire material world because he knows that material the living entity has a marginal potency or marginal energy of the lord which is a superior than this material energy or external energy of the lord because of that superior nature um the human living entity thinks that or jivatma thinks that he he is the lord he is the uh, supreme because he is able to control this entire uh nature but living entity is forgetting that 
above the living entity, there is another, the real internal energy or the real energy that is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Under him, everyone is controlled. Even the uh, material energy is controlled and even the Jivatma is also controlled. But because of the lack of knowledge, lack of understanding, uh, living entity is forgetting that he is the part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. And uh, and because uh, because of this forgetfulness and being having the minute independence he is trying to uh, control everything he is thinking that he is the supreme he is the uh, cause of everything right he is the cause and he is doing everything right that's what uh, even Bhagavad Gita uh, 3.27, we discussed it multiple times that the verse says that Prakriti Kriya Manani Gunai Karmani Sarvataha Ahankara Bimudhatma Karta Aham Itimanyate means we are the doer. That's what he's thinking, right? So in this verse, the Prabhupada explains, right? Even this verse, you know, this section, what we are discussing, the first uh, section in this uh, 15 uh, chapter, right? 15.1 uh, 15 to 15. Point, um, five or six, it, it discuss about uh, this comparison of this um, material world, right? The, uh, we need to cut this uh, material world, right? Uh, it describes how this upshed bend, uh, downside tree compared with different feature of this material world. So ultimately our goal should be come out of this material world. And the next section, like 15 point, um, six to, um, 15.6 to 11, uh, 12, it's the transmigration. It, it, it talks about how the soul uh, can trans transmigrate from this material world to uh, spiritual world. And that's what we have been discussing uh, uh, since a few days, right? And this verse, particularly 15.10, uh, it talks about um, how the, you know, the people, right, in the in the jivatma, uh, lack of knowledge. You know how the jivatma is bewildered, right? Uh, his uh, the jivatma thinking that he is the doer, and uh, this knowledge, uh, and some, many times uh, the jivatma is uh, comparing comparing himself as you know he is the nothing beyond him. So in, in this verse, uh, the word, if you see that, Prabhupada says that jnana chakshu, you know, it says that jnana chakshu. The, it says the foolish cannot understand how a living entity can quit his body, nor they understand what sort of body he enjoys under the spells of modes of nature. So because of the knowledge, uh, so everything, right, everything starts from the knowledge, right? First thing, you know, that's... The spirituality, right, uh, it's divided into three sections, right? One is um, Samanda Jnana, then Abhidaya Jnana, and Prayojana Jnana. This all consists of and this entire, you know, the spiritual uh, knowledge is divided into three sections. Samanda Jnana, Abhidaya Jnana, and Prayojana Jnana. So what is Samanda Jnana? Samanda Jnana is, Samanda means relationship. Samanda Jnana means we need to understand. First is, we need to understand who we are right and what is our uh, constitution position right so that is what our first stage that's the samanda so once we understand that who we are when we inquire ourselves right uh, that that's what the first uh, stage of uh, entering to the spiritual life atoto brahma jigyasa right first inquiry and inquire about jigyasa jigyasa means inquire brahma jigyasa so when you understand that, okay, we are the spirit soul. We are the, we are the spirit soul. We that is our uh, constitutional. That's our reality. The body is not the uh, reality. Body is the just a, a temporary uh, covering, but actually spirit. We are the spirit soul. And where we are coming from? We are coming from the spiritual world. So we have this material world, the ups, the upside banyan tree, the illusion world, but the real tree is in the spiritual world. So we are coming from the spiritual world and uh, from where we are coming from? We are the part and parcel of the Supreme Lord. Okay, we are the tiny, very, uh, you know, uh, tiny part of the spiritual world. That, that's what, you know, in the previous uh, uh, verses we discussed, like, 
mam i van so jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana ha so krishna says that mam i van so jiva loke like all the uh, living entities very uh, fragmental part and parcel of the supreme god mam i van so jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana you know and in the same verse it says that um, mana sashta indriyani um, then karshati something like that it says that uh, in uh, uh, that this living entity is struggling hard you know it says that using its uh, senses along with the mind they're struggling hard in this material world right that's what uh, krishna says in that so this material world right uh, it's a temporary world and once we develop that knowledge that sambandha gyana right once you understand that okay we are the supreme uh, we are the part and parcel of supreme personality godhead krishna is the supreme personality godhead who uh, lives in the spiritual world you know that is the uh, bhagwan you know that is the end of absolute truth right beyond that nothing else you know um iswaraha parama krishna sachitananda vigraha anadir adir govinda sarva karana karanam that's what our um Brahma Samhita says, right? Sarva Karana Karanam. He is the cause of all causes, right? Govindam Adipursam Tamham Bhagavachami. He is the cause of all causes. So once we understand that, once we develop that Sambandha Jnana, right? Once you understand, okay, so this is the knowledge, our relation with the Supreme Lord. The next is that, what is Avidaya Gyan? Avidaya Gyan, okay, then, okay, we understood that we are the supreme, we are the part and parcel of the God. Then what is our next step, right? Next step is that, what is our uh, activity? What should we perform? Right? What is our duty, right? Uh, or, uh, after understanding or after gaining that knowledge that we are the part and parcel of Supreme Lord, then what is our activity, right? Then our question comes, okay, then why did we come here and what is our activity? What should we do there? And um, th those kind of uh, uh, questions uh, we should ask. Then when we understand, right? And that's what uh, here in this verse says that knowledge. So that's what, again, this knowledge gives the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, all the Holy Scripture, um, which we have, that gives this knowledge also. This, uh, this that gives that tells us uh, this under uh, abhidaya knowledge also. It uh, it gives our it gives such understanding what activities should we perform. Also, uh, in the Bhagavad Gita says that uh, sometimes you know, or most of the time, only uh, understanding this knowledge by ourselves is not possible because because um, we know that. This Jivatma is a uh, conditioned soul, right? We are conditioned. We are not free. We are conditioned by this uh, uh, material nature. We conditioned inside our body, right? So we have so many defects, you know. Last uh, Saturday, uh, we were discussing Isopanishad where Jiva Mataji told that the conditioned soul has the four defects, right? And we discussed that what are those four defects also, like it's under illusion, it's kind of, uh, you know, propensity to cheat, um, then uh, what are the two other things? Um, imperfection and, of senses. Uh, imperfect senses, right? So uh, uh, having all these uh, um, defects can... Uh, how can we say that, okay, this imperfect, using these imperfect senses or mind, whatever we can say, we can understand all this knowledge by ourselves. So that's why Krishna says that uh, in the verse 4.34, um, how to surrender a, a bona fide spiritual master, right? If you surrender to spiritual master, um, the spiritual master will show us the path. He will give us the um, the right things, right? Even though, right, we know if someone claims that, okay, one, I can understand the Bhagavad Gita. I am very proficient in Sanskrit. I have done many PhD in the Sanskrit, but still, still, right, uh, one cannot understand what the exact um, uh, meaning of what exactly Krishna is saying that, right? So we need to know, we, need, we should understand what Krishna is saying 
not that you know that literal meaning or if someone is saying what krishna is meant to say that sometimes we know that in uh, sanskrit also the same uh, word uh, represents multiple meanings right so we we may get bewildered or we we may get wrong interpretation that's why the parampara guru parampara is there right we have a very bona fide parampara uh, we have and we have a very very vast uh, guru uh, spiritual master system where we can um, approach the spiritual master that's what krishna says right tad vidhi pranipatena pari prashnena sevaya upadeyanti te gyanam gyanas nastatvi darsina because gyan is gyana nastatvi darsina that means the spiritual master who is a true representative of krishna right who for us he is a living guru or uh, he is a true representation of krishna so because he will give us the right right path or right knowledge because he has seen the truth that's what he is realized the truth and he has seen the truth that's the reason that's why we need to uh, uh, you know um, uh, accept a spiritual master or we can uh, render service to the spiritual master so that is the knowledge so once we understand this knowledge when we read the bhagavad gita srimad bhagavatam listen from the bona fide uh, source then we can develop that abhidaya knowledge abhidaya knowledge says that you know what is the abhidaya knowledge that what the activity we should that so activity is that devotional service that's what our goal should be that we should come out of this uh, um, uh, this material world this material world is dukkhalayam asvasvatam right it's a temporary it's dukkhalayam it's a place of miseries right um, that's what krishna says uh, in a uh, Uh, one of the verses right it's a dukkhala it's a full of misery um so we should uh, we should come out of that so that's what in krishna again says that in the words right uh, it says that um, it's um, 8.8 chapter 15 verse right it says mam upaitya punarjanma dukkhalayam aswasatam na apnuvanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ you know not only you know one way you know prahalad maharaj has described you know nine process of devotional service right shravanam uh, kirtanam vishnu smaranam bandanam dasyam uh, there are others right there are nine devotional process right so out of this all process the hearing chanting is the top most devotional service right hearing first is the chart uh, start with hearing when we hear more and more from the uh, spiritual master or or any any um, uh, true devotees when we hear from them uh, we will develop that uh, love we develop then then uh, we we develop the taste of you know chanting also that's a very important bhajana kriya right in this age in the kali yuga the chanting is the only process where we can cut this uh, bondage to the material world right uh, when you do that our uh, anartha nibritti will happen and then we will our love toward gods will increase then we will reach to the stage where we you know completely uh, 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 focus to the uh, supreme person right so that's the evidence so uh, what is the avide knowledge is that the knowledge like uh, the activity right what should we perform we should perform the uh, devotional service so in the bhagavad gita also uh, in the chatur shloki bhagavad gita it says that okay what is the abhidaya what is the activity uh, it says that and 10.9 machita madgata prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayantascha mam bhaktya dusyanti se ramantite so what is this now this says that machita matgata prana okay bodhayanta parasparam means the devotees like always always think about me always discuss about me 
and they discuss about me each other they talk about me always so that is the activity the perform that is the vidya jnana that is the activity we should perform right so that's how how we'll get that that's what the knowledge it says in the in this verse 15.10 also says talks of the same thing so when uh, 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 devotees or any person develops this knowledge by uh, uh, jnana chakshu by knowledge by, by eye of knowledge or eye of spiritual knowledge when he sees that understand this right then uh, the trans migration from this material world to spiritual world becomes easy otherwise it says that the fool is cannot understand right the, apart from otherwise if someone is not into this uh, uh, knowledge and he is completely caught into material world then we have seen that how this world is going now right everyone is um, thinking of uh, having sense gratification because because of lack of this knowledge they do not understand that okay beyond the senses there is a spirit, a spirit uh, soul is exist okay but spirit uh, because always they are trying to fulfill the demand of the senses but uh, at the same time they are forgetting that uh, there is a real uh, requirement from the soul they are forgetting that and they are not feeding the soul in proper way and sometimes they think that okay uh, i want to be enjoy right everyone try, uh, try to uh, everyone is trying is trying to be happy and uh, whatever the activity do the ultimate goal is that okay they want to be happy they want to be enjoy okay enjoyment is a is a what you call is kind of synonym of happy right when you enjoy that means you are happy when you happy that means you will enjoy when you feed your senses or you are all you are doing all the sense gratification that's what you are enjoy right um um that's what even you know i have many friends right who says that you know uh, enjoyment means what do you mean by enjoyment and they say that enjoyment means yeah enjoyment is you know go to the restaurant have nice food watch movies and uh, go to some park and play. so if you think that all this thing is uh, the uh, if you it's all our enjoyment but in a in in a in a technical term if you think that that means we are um, feeding our senses right uh, eating nice food going to restaurant means what we are sense we are belly is our senses we are feeding the senses right so all this thing but this senses if the the enjoyment this is nev never an enjoyment uh, if we ask someone okay how is that enjoyment is uh, uh, will be end some day they say they can't answer because this enjoy the senses are uh, asking more and more right there is never end process even if, if someone can't say that okay i go to the restaurant one day then okay i am fully satisfied next next time i i do not want to go no every day he goes to restaurant or every week he goes to restaurant because his senses are not satisfying because uh, indirectly the why it's happening because the real happiness we are not getting unless until we get the real happiness we can't satisfy our senses so what is that real happiness real happiness is when the soul gets satisfied so when the soul get satisfied that's what we are uh, reading and we are discussing that soul will get satisfied only when we feed the soul through uh, this devotional process because jibero swarupo huye krishna ro nitya das that's what in us says right because the soul constitutional jiva this all jiva means soul only jiva constitutional position is to serve the lord that is our constitutional position right instead of serving the lord if you do any activity in this world we won't get satisfaction whatever even though if you get you know someone think that okay if i have 1 billion dollar and i have everything but still the people are suffering you know uh, even though talk about many billionaires they can they are uh, they are also suffering in any uh, any other way you know money is the only, on, not only cause you know they are suffering from the health issue or they are suffering from their family issue you know because something will be there right so that's why we won't get uh, the complete satisfaction unless until we try to understand the reality that 
we are the spirit soul and our uh, constitutional position or duty or activity is the krishna ro nitya das so we are the servant of the lord and what is the servant does the servant do does is only serve the lord master so we have to serve the master that is the only way that is the only path is which gives us ultimate happy right and when you do that right then next gyana i uh, is talking about prayojana prayojana is what the result okay when you do that what will be the result the result with that yes there are one result is what i i was talking we will get the real happiness the ultimate happiness what we get and we'll go back to god it that's what our original position original uh, ad, ad, ad of right and in the previous verse uh, krishna is given very uh, you know brief description of the spiritual world uh, says that na sasanka na right so in the in the spiritual world it we it i mean so there is it doesn't need uh, the sun and moon to get the light right so this is the spiritual nature of spiritual world you know in a brahma samhita also it's very clearly explain the the nature of spiritual world you know that's what um it's all the gyana section that and the foolish person because he doesn't know all these thing and he will um uh caught into this material circle right punarapi janma janmam punarapi maranam right the circle of birth and death birth and death and uh, goes through the birth death old age and disease and completely it's going and going and going and so not so this is what happening for everyone it's not that you know we we also went through that same process and due to some mercy you know we we got a chance to hear and listen this bhagavad gita otherwise you know every every birth right we have been doing same thing we are we have been doing the sense enjoyment we are taking birth enjoying our taking doing the sense gratification old age disease and finally leave your body right that is what happened so um, and uh, prabhupad says that okay at least give this life this life to krishna right you have enjoyed so many life right at least give this life to krishna try it even though you do not have a faith right give this one life you know what what you are losing you have you have enjoyed millions of life you know give this life to krishna try to um, uh, you know try to aspire for the spiritual life and uh, do that uh, do uh, devotional service you know so uh, and see what happens you know in the both the case even if success you are benefit even if the failure there is no loss because uh, prabhupad says that okay even if success you will go back to godhead and uh, you will enjoy in the spiritual world even though you do not uh, you know success so something like you might be thinking that okay should i take this uh, risk of you know leaving every every enjoyment and uh, go for spiritual life so what have if i this is something not correct and uh, i will fail then again what happens you will take another birth and again you will enjoy right that's what prabhupada says so but at least if you try one life one life give it to krishna and see then definitely you will uh, see you know the benefit of that in uh, again in um, uh, uh, it says that okay the question may come okay is it like one life is enough for you know going back to godhead you know uh, possibly yes or possibly no right uh, because uh, it depends upon how how much percentage how much dedication we are giving to this uh, spiritual life you know mm, uh, bhagavad gita 4.11 um, or 12 says that yam yam ye yathamam prapadyante tam tathaiva vajami aham so krishna says that whoever gives whatever percentage i will reciprocate in the same percentage right so if you are 100% you are able to give then krishna also reciprocate 100% right so that depends and even if you know uh, something that okay dear i i cannot give 100% because I, everyone knows that you know we have a uh, so many um activity or attachment we have a family life we have a uh, you know a work life you know 
how can I give 100%, right? Even though you don't, but try to give 100%, you know, even if you fail your so Krishna, there is a sloka in 2.40, right? Neha vikrama nasosti pratyavayona vidyate svalpam apyasya dharmasya trayate mahatovayat. Krishna said that, neha vikrama nasosti. What is their loss? There is no loss, you know, even if you give the small, tiny percentage of uh, your time uh, dedicated to Krishna, you know, it will save you from the trayate mahatovayat. It's, it's, it will save you from the great danger. So what is the great danger? The great danger is, this is what great danger, you know, old age, disease, and this uh, suffering from this material world, you know, live example is the current situation, you know, the coronavirus, everyone is suffering. Do not think that everyone is, you know, uh, if you think that everyone's life is miser truly miserable now, no one is able to do anything. Everyone is caught in the house, right? Uh, those people who are claiming that they're enjoying their life, even they are not able to do anything. So this is the great danger. So we need to come out of that. And we need to see that even if you are unable to complete our course, then no, no happy, right? Um, Krishna says that. Srimatam Gehe, yo, what is the sloka says? I'm, okay, Krishna says in the sloka, even if someone cannot complete in this life, then he, he will get another chance uh, in a, uh, a aristocrat family or in a Brahmana family who will take a birth from the day one who will get a chance to start his uh, spiritual life, right? So there is no, we, we need not, we are in the either case, we are secure, right? Uh, we, we need not to worry about that. But let's let's focus. You know that's what we need to understand the scripture. We we need to listen from the gurus. They are saying all our disciples, all our gurus are saying the same thing, right? Let's do that. You know, once once you do that, then we'll see that the the happiness, you know, the real happiness, what we are achieving, we'll get ultimately one day, and uh, everything will be everything will be good and that's what you know devotional service is very important and uh, out of devotional service the main is um, um, the chanting the chanting of the holy name this is a yuga dharma right we have a four yugas and every yuga has a different prescribed method of uh, um, of getting lib liberation or um, or for spiritual life but in this yuga the holy name the um, only only the holy name which will make us uh, free from all this uh, material misery miserable life and take us to the spiritual life right that is what nama kirtana is the only thing right um, so even i would like to quote like there is a in a chaitanya charitra myth also it says that you know adi lila okay um, Krishna mantra hoite hobe, samsara mochano, Krishna nama hoite pabe, Krishnero charano. Okay. This says that Krishna mantra, mantra hoite hobe. Okay. Samsara mochano. So that means, uh, you know, um, the Krishna mantra, it says that the Krishna mantra hoite hobe, the holy name of the mantra, the Hare Krishna mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This mantra has all the potency to deliver from this samsara. You know, from the, it will deliver from this material existence. That's what Krishna, you know, in a Chaitanya Charitra, it says that Krishna Nama Hoite Pave Krishna Ra Charana. So it says that simply by chanting the holy name of Krishna, one can obtain freedom from from this material existence. Indeed, simply by chanting the Hare Krishna mantra one will be able to see the lotus feet of the Lord, you know, very, very, you know, it's, it's like, you know, it's very important to know, right? Just mantra, you know, no need to do yajnas and uh, uh, meditation, whatever. These are all prescribed in the earlier yugas, but this is simply mantra, Hare Krishna mantra, you know. If you chant offenselessly, again, the clause is offenseless, right? That is very important. Every Saturday, we discuss the 10 offense of holy names, right? We need to try to 
without you know chant without offense right um that that makes us perfect and also you know again from the day one we cannot say that okay i can chant offenselessly but try you know that's what three even the chanting also has three stages we know that nam aparad stage nama bhas stage and shuddha nama so nam aparad means we 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 will chant with uh, with committing some aparad some uh, offenses right that's fine you know it's accepted you know in the earlier stage when you chant uh, chanting do keep chanting 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 then uh, we will cross this nama aparad state to nama bhasa stage right um, there is a, a saying in uh, hindi right uh, it says that uh, you know i'll tell in a translation in english uh, the iron will can cut only iron right in the hindi it says very nicely it says that similarly the holy name will only cut this uh, holy names aparad so the more you chant the more you get you know there is um, i remember when when i go to the coals the coals the, their tagline says that the what is that the the more you sob the more you coals right something the tagline they says but we say that the more you chant the more you become you know free from this material world or this now you will come out of this uh, nama aparad stage to the nama bhash stage the nama bhash to you know suddha nam the pure chanting stage when you get the pure chant you know then uh, you will experience the the real reality and uh, then um, then every uh, you you will come out of this bondage and material things so this is what this whole uh, verse says you know uh, uh, the translation one more time i would like to uh, read the foolish cannot understand how a living entity can quit this, his body nor can they understand what sort of body he enjoys under the spell of the modes of nature but one who whose eyes are trained in knowledge can see all this right when when we understand this knowledge from the proper source he can uh, he can understand the reality and then once he pr- start practicing this then he will get the ultimate goal of the life hari krishna i would like to stop here does anyone has any comment and question let's discuss um what does chanting in the nama bhasa stage well, what does that entail so uh, nama bhasa stage is uh, what i understood May- maybe i am just forgetting but let me try or other can answer i think uh, nama bhasa stage is the stage where uh, the real attraction uh, attachment to the lord won't won't be there that's what i um, real love of the god or true love of the god on be there still we chant but it's not in the it's early stage of the love of god or prema bhakti what whatever we can say i think that's what i understood but uh, if anyone wants to just correct it or have better understand please go ahead yeah that's correct i believe it's in between the offensive and the pure chanting it's when the um the offenses have nearly finished and then in the right before like he said the pure love has awakened it's also called the clearing stage thank you mataji read more about it in the nectar of devotion too uh mm-hmm. yeah i mean nama nama parada and shuddha shuddha nama are pretty clear but nama bhasa in between is like you know all right a little hard to understand <laughs> i mean yeah that's nama bhasa stage at least like if someone is chants <laughs> practice chanting for a long time and when at least we at least we know what is the 10 offenses right at least knowing that you know, um you try to Yes, yeah, exactly right. What happens is, uh, you know, uh, when I uh, 
uh, when uh, first of all when i uh, i was uh, you know i started chanting many times i i know there is a 10th chan 10 offenses but uh, i never remember or never read or understood like that you know that's where you know when i started uh, i get um, initiation right during the initiation the requirement is that um, again our guru maharaj's requirement uh, the one day he will do interview right he will ask Uh, understand the ten offenses, and uh, he will ask uh, one by one uh, all the disciple, whoever getting initiated. He call previous day, and ask everyone tell the meaning of the uh, number five, number six, number seven, and explain about it. So he'll ask especially. So that day, that during that page, I clearly by hearted the ten offenses and try to understand. and from that day at least i understood okay these are the offenses okay at least i know now uh, it will i'll try to uh, you know avoid them uh, you know first of all if you do not understand or know them we cannot avoid them right so that's where i started you know understanding the offenses at least i'm trying to avoid those offenses whenever is possible <laughs> That's nice. Okay, Hare Krishna, Prabhu ji. And uh, and uh, what we understood is we have to get rid of all the offenses and get uh, to know the Lord and you know, Lord Krishna and uh, get attached to Him. That's the way we can get attached to Him, right? right master so that's what this verse says this verse says that mm -hmm. uh, the first thing that the knowledge right the true knowledge once you understand the true mm -hmm. knowledge and when you see the uh, gyana chakshu when you see everything mm -hmm. through the scripture right and uh, mm -hmm. that's where the process start right then that's where where they explained the sambandha gyana understand then our activity what should be perform we understand then finally mm -hmm. we ultimate the goal we achieve otherwise we will just uh, Roam around this, uh, all the mm -hmm. you know the the birth and death life cycle. That's what it says. That mm -hmm. that's what this again this topic right. This section uh, Krishna explained the transmigration. Yeah. One one can come out of this uh, material existence to spiritual world. That's what Krishna explaining mm -hmm. the ten point. Uh, I mean fifteen point six to twelve. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we have to get rid of all the uh, last. and you know all the things that uh, are not uh, related with the knowledge and you know we have to get the real knowledge and then we can get close to krishna correct mata ji mm -hmm. okay so that's what Prabhuji. that's what again the getting real knowledge mm -hmm. also how the prabhupad says that you can get mm -hmm. the real knowledge only when you can get this knowledge from a bona fide spiritual master or a bona fide path when you understand this then only you will get a real knowledge mm -hmm. otherwise uh, you won't get a real knowledge mm -hmm. thank you prabhu ji have a nice night and uh, hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna prabhu ji yes prabhu ji prabhu ji also we have to realize knowing is not enough right that's correct exactly right uh, yeah that's true i mean knowing and uh, realize and perform those uh, and uh, transform this knowledge into activity that's the prayojana gyana what i tell understand the knowledge and transform that knowledge into activity right uh, but first we have to start yes yes definitely prabhu True. Krishna, anything else? Any comments? I believe in the Nama Bas stage, you can achieve liberation, but not necessary love. Love of Krishna. Okay, so liberation. What kind of liberation, Mata Ji? It is. Yeah. Is it the Brahman? Well, Realization or uh, spiritual? <laughs> yeah, I just remember reading that you can achieve liberation, but not pure love of God. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. 
yes i think uh, something i i now i getting i'm remembering like somewhere i was hearing you know uh, even though we liberate you know we may not get the love of god some i think some the i don't remember who was explaining that it's like something like that you know you have you um, the king is there and uh, there there is a king's personal servant is there and there are other servant who are serving the king but not personally but let's say uh, king's uh, garden or king some activity so it's like something like that you know even if you get liberated uh, we may not get a personal service to the lord but we may get uh, we may go back to the golaka brindavan but we, we may do some other activities away from krishna something like that i i heard some prabhu ji was saying maybe <laughs> this i feel like something related to this mm. is that is, is that understanding correct mata ji <laughs> i don't know if i understood that story i know i mean i'm thinking if you go back to goloka vrindavan it really doesn't matter what you're doing <laughs> yeah yeah in order to enter goloka one's love of god has to be fully has to be there yeah i mean yeah. even if but, you're a blade of grass even uh, urava you know he prayed to be just a blade of grass after meeting the gopis because their love was so exalted if they would step on him he would you know get pleasure just from getting the dust of their feet because they're so exalted so and um our uh, madhavendra puri his eternal leela is a cup of riksha tree mm. so so uh, so he, yeah whether it's direct service or indirect service it really doesn't matter right 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 good. that's good mathis yes hari krishna prabhu yes prabhu i just wanted to share uh, some understanding on nama paradhan nama bhas that i had uh, read somewhere Sure. Uh, uh, nama parad is uh, when you're chanting but you you are committing some of uh, one of those 10 offenses and some offenses you know you have those material things in your mind and uh, nama bhas is when you're not committing offenses you've risen above that platform but you've still not started relishing the name you know you've not developed that taste for chanting you're chanting but you're not you stop the offenses but you you still not enjoying you know in, you're not in that ecstasy while chanting that's shuddha naam so that's the stage of uh, nama bhas something uh, i mean you can, i mean uh, it can, uh, please correct me if i'm wrong but something like ajamil you know in the last moment when he saw the yamdutas he called i think vishnu uh narayan any offense Narayan. and but he uh, and but he did not he was not even calling for vishnu so he just said the name there was na- that was nama bhas something like that yeah i did read i did read that that ajamala calling out is in the nama bhasa okay. yeah yeah yes that's correct mataj yep <clears throat> all right uh, we are almost there uh, if there is no questions comments we can close the class today thank you thank you hari krishna nice class thank you thank you thank you thank you prabhu hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna